gonna I'm gonna give a shout out to my parents here. Um, I remember one time when I was a kid, and this is this is where I get a lot of my philosophy from. It's common sense for my mom and dad. And I talked about a very successful Fargo businessman. Uh, I was talking to my parents one night, and I said, made some derogatory comment about how he's just you know cheated his way to the top. And my dad, and you know, I was college age then, so you get sort of um, enmeshed in liberalism. And my dad made a statement to me that I've, it's never left me, and he said, Gretchen, people are always going to vilify people who are successful. He said, because there's a jealousy and an envy factor that goes on. And so I remembered that, and I keep thinking, well, instead of envying and being jealous of people's success, I want to emulate that success. And so that's how I've lived my life. And I've, there have been so many times when I've heard Governor Dayton speak about the rich, and it's, it's this class envy, class warfare, wealth re- redistribution philosophy that he seems to have that doesn't embrace what America is. Um, I come from a family where my dad was a construction foreman, and my mom was a stay-at-home mom. And we lived a good life. I never knew how poor we were because I had a stable home and parents that loved me and that taught me what America is and that if you work really hard and you take your lumps and sometimes you fall down, skin your knees, but you get up and you try again tomorrow. And that's how I was raised.